each device can complete the communication. A port of the hub belongs to the same collision domain. All ports in the hubs belong to the same one, one collision domain. Every port of the switch is a collision domain in its own plane. So that is the difference between hub and the switch. If somebody asks you to define a difference between hub and switch, exactly this is the technical. There are many different like software, hardware, and many other things. Small and big or large and more ports, things like that. But the main difference people are looking for, look at this, all the ports, all the ports of the hub belong to same collision domain, while every port of the switch is in the different collision domain. So which means that the bad definition is the collision domain is the segment where devices must compare to the communication. That every device, let's say, as, as we, I think mentioned before, if uh, one switch has four ports, A, B, C port, okay, and you have A, PCA, PCB, and PCC. So if the PCA and PCB are already talking to each other, then the PCC has to wait here, okay? So that's called a collision domain. So if, if the both of the, now this is as we said, run for, complete for the communication. A switch breaks the collision domain into the smaller collision domain is in the device competition. Broadcast domain, a broadcast domain is the extent of the network where the broadcast domain can be heard. Switches for a frame for broadcast frame on all the ports, therefore switches do not break the broadcast domain. Basically, switches do not break the broadcast domain because through the broadcast, sometimes they learn, most of the time they learn the MAC addresses. All ports of the switch which is default configuration belong to the same broadcast domain. Okay, that's very critical and important. All the ports, not the broadcast domain, but the uh, uh, collision domain for the broadcast. All ports of the switches, which is it is default configuration, belong to the same broadcast domain. If two or more switches are connected, broadcast are to all the ports of all the switches, except for the switch port that originally received the frame. Okay, the ports of the switch, which is default configuration, belong to the same broadcast domain. That's important. If two or more switches are connecting, broadcasts are forward to all the ports of the switches as well. What it's saying. If the two switches are connecting together through one cable, in our lab you also seen that we have three switches connecting to our fiber cable, for example, switch A, B, C, whatever it is. Okay, they are connecting. Even the broadcast message is coming from here. It will be forward from all the ports here to this port as well. B will hire this broadcast. It will send to all the broadcasts on the ports as well. Then it's forward to the C as well, and C will also forward the all the broadcasts. This is a general behavior in the broadcast in the switches. And switches do not break the broadcast domain. Switch can elevate the network congestion by facilitating the segment of the LAN into the separate collision domain. As we know, the switches break the collision domain. Provide full duplex communication between the devices, taking advantage of their height or density. Buffer large frame, employing hard, high speed ports, and taking advantage of their internal switching process, having a low per. Uh, per, per okay, so that's all with regard to the switching. If you have any questions, please let me know.